Those who will help choose the next full-time superintendent were sworn into office today. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini is here to tell us about the newly elected district council members and how they will change the Chicago Police Department, Dave. Erica and Joe, each of these district council members were elected by voters from the different neighborhoods that make up each police district. There's a lot of work on their plate. They must now help pick candidates for the new top cop job and find a way to address the unique policing problems in their communities. Chicago has a very long and complex history with policing. It is scenes and images like these. Police! open, going in, watch the right. That are burned into the memories of many Chicagoans. But today is a new day. Today marks the beginning of one of the final pieces of true community policing. Please stand, ladies and gentlemen. A new day as 66 newly elected community members from neighborhoods across all of Chicago's 22 police districts were sworn in to help bring about change, transparency, and trust between the communities they represent and the Chicago Police Department. Congratulations, you are installed. And now we have a governing body that speaks to the very best of our values. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson called it a historic moment. The type of leadership that is needed at the very local level to make sure that public safety is a broader conversation. What are you feeling right now? Excited. Uh, hope. Ariwa Karen Winters represents the Austin neighborhood home of the 15th district. We want this city to be safe and we want people to thrive here. The 11th district has had the most homicides. It has had the most homicides. It also has the highest number of complaints. They all have different needs, like in newly elected Elise Edwards Lawndale neighborhood of the 11th district. Something that could help us immediately is if we, you know, had a better understanding of how we're distributing the resources. Third district needs uh, transparency. Anthony David Bryant says his district in the Grand Crossing neighborhood has some of the city's slowest response times and he wants answers. The longest call to response time in any of the districts, which is 45 minutes. One of the first items on their agenda is to band together and pick leadership to run their commission on public safety and accountability. In the newsroom, Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. Dave, thanks.